Paul, you've just put out more good news. How about we start there? Yeah, sure. I mean, again, we've been pretty aggressive since the last time we spoke. Um, we've continued our, our trenching program. We completed the drilling program, as you're aware. Um, but the, I think the main focus is really what we've been doing on the ground in terms of trenching. So we just recently put out some some new results um, from both the Jagger zone and the Katy zone. So the Katy zone is a new zone. Um, it's actually very exciting for us. Um, it's a zone that's, that lies just to the west of the Jagger zone. And we put out some numbers a few weeks ago. We got in one of the trenches, we got over 11 meters of, of 5.16 grams per ton in one zone. And then a second zone, again, about 11 meters in, in length that was uh, just over 1.27 grams per ton. And we followed that up with a release we just put out on Tuesday morning where we, we got more good numbers. Again, you know, 10 meters at 2.27 grams per ton. Another trench, we got four meters at over five grams per ton. And what it's really done is it's really elevated our understanding of the Katy zone and has really brought that into what we would consider to be a drill-ready target for us as we move forward uh, with our exploration program. So, Paul, you're in one of the most prolific gold-producing places in the world. And, you know, you put together, you've amassed a group of rock stars in the geology world to go after the gold. You've put out two news releases back on back here, all with very good results. Yep. Is there anything that's going offside for you or is it uh, going pretty much as you had planned? No, I think it's going very well for us. I think a lot of these things that we're finding are, are what we would expect to find in this type of environment. Um, you know, we brought in a structural expert uh, who spent seven years working at the Yore mine. Um, he spent three weeks on the property. He's really helped us elevate our understanding structurally of what's going on. And I, I think with that understanding and the results we're getting, you know, everything is kind of lining up the way we were hoping it to be. I mean, this is a very, you know, very prospective belt of rocks. Um, you know, we're in a great location and uh, yeah, things are going extremely well for us at the moment. And it's this Katy zone is drill ready is where you're getting it to right now. Is that correct? Yeah. So the Katy zone is what we released some results on. Again, the last couple of re releases were, were focused on the Katy zone. It's a brand new zone for us that we've elevated to the drill stage because of the results have been, you know, very, very good. Um, so yeah, we're very excited to get to move on with that to do, we're going to do a little bit more trenching on it just to, just to confirm our hypothesis basically, but really it's, it's, drill ready in my mind and we're, we're working towards setting up uh you know a uh, new drill plan to take that that zone into account and the jagger shares them okay it's mm -hmm. longer than you expected did i read that properly yeah again i think the results we've just put out and and from this release and some results from the previous release have confirmed um that 1.4 kilometer extent that we now know it exists over where we've drilled it and trenched it i think the important thing that we did on on this last release was that there was a couple of gaps within the the zone itself where we weren't able to get to just because of logistical reasons we were able to push some roads in there we did some more trenching on it and that's really confirmed where we were hoping it was going to be between two drill areas there's about a three four hundred meter gap in there and we've we've actually seen now the rock on surface uh, through trenching. So again, you know the, the 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 geochemical technique, you know, looking at geochemical highs and then trenching is is proving to be the the right technique here for us to do our exploration work on. And so, Paul, you've been through a couple of hailstorms or mail storms <laughs> in the uh, market over the years. Why should investors that are looking for amazing opportunities move Kobo to the top of their list? Well, I think we are an amazing opportunity. I mean, I really believe based on, you know, what we're finding on the ground, what our drilling is telling us, you know, the structural environment they're in, our proximity to a, you know, a mine that's literally nine and a half kilometers by road from our key targets to their process facility. You know, our job is to go out there and find as many ounces as we can find. Uh, we believe we've got the potential to find more than a million ounces on this property. If we are able to do that, then we believe that there's, you know, there's going to be some association with the mine next door. However, what that looks like, I, I can't tell you at the moment, but it makes sense. I mean, there's no point us, you know, having to spend $300 million building a mine when there's already the infrastructure in place. So I think the key things 
from Kobo's perspective is that we're, we have a new, brand new, unexplored target that we're, we're having some great results on. We've got great logistics, great location. And I think the, you know, the market needs to stay tuned. I think we're going to be very successful for the next year, year and a half. Well, we're certainly following you, Paul. And of course, you can be drilling West Africa. You don't have to shut down for the winter. What yep. should we anticipate next? You're certainly putting news releases out on a regular basis. Yeah, and we hope to continue to do that. I mean, we're going to be, uh, again, uh, continuing this, this trenching program. We've got a few more targets that we're going to look at and just firm up some of the ones that we already know about. Um, but really, we're working towards a drill pro drill program. We're looking at bringing in at least one, possibly two diamond drills. Again, I don't know the exact timing on that yet, but it'll certainly be sometime to end of this year or I, I believe early next next year. And at that point, our plan would be to drill this thing in more detail and uh, come up with some kind of resource estimate for the project. Um, you know, again, depending on when we start drilling and how long it takes us, but we anticipate having a resource estimate, I would hope, by the, you know, by the third or fourth quarter of, uh, of next year. Well, Paul, we really appreciate the update. As always, it's a real pleasure. And, and we're all watching gold. So thank you. Thank you, Tracy. Good speaking with you again.